What's up YouTube? And I'm back for another one. And today I'm out at the Pacific Union College Forest um, near the little town of Angwin. And this is the second time I've ridden out here. The first time, God, was probably almost a year ago and I parked towards, there's another parking area like in the northern part of uh, the Pacific Union College Forest. And today I'm out at like the uh, airport parking. Uh, most of the videos that I've seen, it seems like most people park um, in the airport parking area. So figured I'd give it a try today. So it'll basically be like the first time riding out here. A lot of these trails in the southern part, I didn't hit uh, the first time I came out. So I'm pretty excited. And without any further ado, guys, let's kick some ass. All right, so this is the airport entry trail. Obviously, all the information that I'm giving you guys is all from trail forks. Okay, I think this one's called Roots and Berms. <laughs> Forgive me if I actually get the trail wrong. I'll try my best. Pretty sure it's roots of berms. <laughs> oh! I remember being really impressed the first time I came out here. <sighs> the trail system here is really fun. Okay, so just referring to the map here. I might be doing that a lot today. I'm on the Main Street Trail and I'm headed towards this 0.6 mile trail. Looked fun. This place has great signage here. I know most of us use, you know, apps like Trail Forks, but when an area has good signage, it just really helps. Sometimes you don't even have to pull out the phone. Sweet. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is 0.6 mile streak. It's like really easy to get turned around here. Like there's a trail right next to it. I'm like, is that it? And then of course there was like a little bit of a lag in the app, so. I think I'm good. to mention I just got the new one-up components uh, this is like the version 2 uh, chain guide with the bash guard and I like it it's pretty sweet so far so good all right dropping into the great traverse or at least I think it is Oh, <sighs> all right, Whew, that one was fun. 
Okay, I think I'm on the whoop de doos trail, but <laughs> it just looks steep as fuck. Oh, oh, there we go. Oh, I'm definitely in the wrong gear. Oh. Oh. <laughs> All right, a little different. <laughs> I don't know about a black diamond for all that. I believe this trail is called Snowboard. This is pretty dope. Oh, that was fun. Some really fun switchbacks. Oh man. Okay, dropping into the shoot traverse. taking that jump okay took a bunch of little jumps down here and I definitely was about to take one that I did not feel comfortable taking but they look sick so I'm gonna give a smaller jump another shot I hate doing really risky stuff when I'm riding by myself Oh. All right, I'll take it. <laughs> Living in Sketch City. Almost cased that landing. Okay, this is Great Scott. Let's see if I can stay on the trail. Check the map. Cutout trail.
was awesome. Whew. All right, this is slider. Kind of runs right through grandma's jump line. And I did that trail last time I was here. The only one I did over on this side. I might have done a couple of these too. Like I said, I don't really remember. Short and sweet. <laughs> all right, guys, that's all I have time for today. I just realized I've already been out here for like two and a half hours. So definitely do another video out here. There's so much to explore, so much to do, so much riding potential out here. This place is awesome. If you haven't been, definitely come out to uh, Angwin. This place kicks ass. Hope you guys enjoyed it. What's up, YouTube? Thanks again for sticking around and watching the whole video. You know I really appreciate it. Um, Angwin out in the uh, Pacific Union College Forest is an amazing place to ride. It's gorgeous. It's kind of tucked away in beautiful Napa County. Um, kind of not really anything around there. I mean, I know the, the college there is uh, pretty much the only prominent thing um, and then just beautiful vineyards uh, throughout it's an awesome drive coming from Marin um, you know it's about an hour and a half out to Angwin from San Rafael where I live um, it's well worth the drive wherever you're coming from uh, near or far there's a massive trail system there um, and I've only been there twice and like I mentioned in the video the first time that I ever went there, I parked in the north uh, parking lot. And this time around, um, like I highlighted in the beginning of this video, I kind of parked uh, at the uh, the airport parking. And then there's the one other parking area at, uh, I think it's Cold Springs. Um, so there's plenty of parking options. Um, it's free parking. And it's usually not too full, I mean, I've talked to other riders. They've that's never been a an issue out there. Uh, obviously, on the weekends, that can be a different situation anywhere you go. So just plan accordingly. But yeah, um, all the trails I hit were really fun. Um, a few that stood out to me. Uh, snowboard was really fun. I mean, a lot of these that I did in this video were kind of short. You know, 0 0.2, 0 0.3 miles. Um, you know, the Great Traverse had a lot of um, grade reversals, so good spots with some decent, fun, punchy climbs, but the flow could be a little interrupted with some of those. Um, snowboard was really fun. Um, God, they were all great. Um, <laughs> I did a bunch. I can't even remember all of them. Obviously, I'll post my uh, ride log here, and you can look at it always, like I always freaking mention. You guys can message me, DM me on Facebook or Instagram, or uh, or you can email me even, and I'll do my best to get back to you, and we can chat about the trails or parking or whatever. Um, always down to chat. So thanks again, guys, for sticking around, watching the whole video, watching me blabber on once again. I'm. I got plenty of uh, good ideas coming, especially t towards the summer. I'm gonna be heading out further. Um, it's just tricky with work and, and life and all that to, to keep doing, you know, to do this as much as I can consistently, but I'm trying. So a, a video a week is my goal. I know I kinda got away from that, but we'll see how things go. Either way, I got a few more videos brewing and some cool areas. Um, so stay tuned for that, guys. And with that being said, stay excited, get stoked, and I'll see you guys on the next one.